Hello all, welcome to part 46 of Python tutorial. In this session, I am going to practically show you how we can use init method in Python for initializing the class variables. So let's get started. In the previous session, we have used a normal method for initializing the class variables. But in this session, we are going to replace that normal method with the init method and I'm going to show you what are the advantages of doing so for that i'll first open this pycharm id where we have the sample python file this is the code we have written in the previous session for initializing the class variables okay here brand model price and mileage self dot model self self dot brand self dot price and self dot mileage are the class variables these class variables we are initializing using the method parameters this is a normal method guys using the normal parameters of this method we are initializing the class variables right here now what will happen if i don't use this normal method for initializing the class variables rather if i remove this normal method name and in place of the normal method name if i give underscore underscore init underscore underscore okay here i am using the here i am using what guys i'm using init method in place of the normal method i'm going to use the init method but how does this init method make the initialization process simple compared to the normal method init method makes the initialization process simple though the remaining syntax is same remaining process is same where the method parameters are getting assigned to the class variables everything is same but only the name of the method i change it to init this kind of method in java is called as a constructor guys okay in const uh, in java we call this kind of methods as constructors in python this is an initialization method okay init method and it makes the initialization process easy why because when you scroll down after changing the normal method name to the init method if you scroll down here okay here the advantage is you don't need this extra step okay for initializing the class variables using the method parameters we have to call the method right but here for init method you don't have to call any particular method you don't have to use the object reference of this particular object to call the init method this is not required okay simply while creating the object itself you see this is the statement for creating the object while creating the object itself you need to pass the arguments okay okay this particular statement okay when the object is created for the first object is created for the car class automatically the arguments of this car class will be assigned to the parameters of this method and will be initialized class variables will be initialized here automatically okay this extra step is not at all required you don't have to use object reference of this class to call this init method which is which acts like a constructor in java guys this is nothing but a constructor in java in python this is how easy it is to initialize the okay this is how easy it is to initialize the class variables in python using init method we don't need that extra statement here also guys we are calling the separate method right for initializing but here when you create the object itself in the object creation statement itself you just have to pass this arguments this extra statement for initializing the class variables by calling a separate method is not at all required you see the code got optimized right you don't we have already reduced two lines of code okay if you have five objects you see five lines of code will be reduced right while creating the object itself this init method will be called and this arguments will be assigned to the uh, method parameters init method parameters and those init method parameters are getting initialized they are initializing the class variables here okay this init this uh, init method parameters are initializing the class variables here automatically okay so this process guys okay you will still get the same output okay whatever the output you already got in the previous session right the same output you got here you see this this arguments got uh, initialized with this uh, class variables for each and every object here svda object reference and hamd so if i run this code guys the output will be same the output that we got in the previous program the same output you will get in the this program also you see Marthi Kaur has with model Sufidia has started the brand of the brand model price okay Marthi details okay here owned am is 9 lakhs and 14.5 everything is perfectly working fine and also at same time we have reduced the number of lines that's the power of init method in python guys so that's it guys this is how we have to use init method in python for initializing the class variables thank you bye